one of the things I always con caution the committee on is if we eliminate some of these things, uh, first of all, we ought to be sure that it's not the same as somebody else is getting just under a different name. And uh, I'll use one that we've talked about a little bit, which I expect will never happen. That's the elimination of the individual's mortgage deduction. Uh, it, and uh, uh, if we were to eliminate that overnight, or many of these other things that we talk about, um, we'd create a real cash flow problem in the United States. Yes, the government would re do real well in the year that we did those. So I keep talking about transition on any of these. Um, we do have a little bit of a transition on the production tax credit because it, it, it extends for another 10 years, so that gives people a chance to adjust, for, adjust to it um, as it disappears. But uh, I've talked about transition enough that uh, most of the members of the committee uh, talk to me about people transition. People need to understand how exciting in the tax reform area it is to do the transition work. I mean, this is real root canal stuff. And <laughs> I just want to commend Senator Enzi for constantly in all of our tax reform discussions coming back to that point. Because it's fine to talk about how you're going to be somewhere in a few years, but if you don't do what Senator Enzi is talking about, which is describe how you're actually going to get there step by step, tax reform doesn't come together. So I, I appreciate my colleague uh, talking about that. Uh, I, I appreciate that, Mr. Chairman. Um, I do think that oil and gas uh, development is important, just as important as any of the other energy ones. And uh, one of the tax increases the administration wants is changing the deductibility of that intangible drilling and development costs. And uh, those are comparable, perhaps, to research and development, but I think they're more comparable to um, amortization of, uh, and depreciation. So the loss of this deduction for producers would reduce their available capital immensely. 